Fifteen years ago, when our company's founder, Joseph Ranke, started in wealth management, he set out to help his friends remove the anxiety and complexity of personal finances. The research he did led him to create a brand new financial planning company called Fitbucks. To date, our affordable technology and platform has helped more than 20,000 young professionals. The question that often comes my way is the choice between a traditional IRA versus a Roth IRA. These two retirement savings options are similar, yet they come with unique advantages, tax implications, and cater to different financial situations. Today, I'm going to share my insights about these two retirement account options. Before getting started, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Doing so will notify you of when new content is released and helps us grow the channel so we can keep producing more great content. First, let's dive into what a traditional IRA it is. It's a type of retirement savings account that allows for tax-deductible contributions in the year made, subject to your income and participation in an employer's retirement plan. The assets in the account grow tax-deferred, meaning you won't pay taxes on earnings until you withdraw funds. For example, if you make $70,000 a year and contribute $5,000 to a traditional IRA, then you will only pay taxes on $65,000 of income in the current tax year. However, in retirement, when you take money out of your traditional IRA, you will pay income taxes. Now, Roth IRA. Contributions to a Roth IRA is made with after-tax dollars. There's no immediate tax break, but these contributions and their earnings can be withdrawn tax-free during retirement. For example, if you make $70,000 a year and contribute $5,000 to a traditional IRA, then you still pay taxes on $70,000 of income in the current tax year. However, in retirement, when you take money out of your Roth IRA, you pay no taxes. Also, you can remove your contributions anytime you'd like without penalty. For example, I can take the $5,000 contribution out of my Roth IRA anytime. If I remove my $5,000 contribution to my traditional IRA before 59 and a half years old, then I have to pay income taxes plus a 10% penalty. A key question in deciding between a traditional IRA and a Roth IRA is examining your current tax bracket versus your future tax bracket. If you anticipate being in a lower tax bracket during retirement, a traditional IRA makes sense. In contrast, a Roth IRA could be more beneficial if you foresee being in a higher tax bracket during retirement. The income threshold for what makes sense varies for each person based on various circumstances such as marriage. A large number of Fitbucks members have used our financial planning AI to help determine how much to put towards a traditional IRA and Roth IRA. The data that we've collected from these plans supports the fact that there is no cookie-cutter decision based on income alone. Therefore, be sure to get personalized help when making this decision. One item I will note, you should contribute some money to both a pre-tax retirement account and a Roth IRA. The reason is for retirement income diversification. This diversification means having money in different accounts in case the IRS changes tax laws in the future. This is why the Fitbucks financial planning method includes a minimum of $50 a month being contributed to a Roth IRA. The next item to compare are the income limits. A traditional IRA does not have any income limitations for eligibility, but a Roth IRA does. For instance, in 2024, a single filer can make a full contribution to a Roth IRA if the adjusted gross income is less than $161,000. However, even if you make more money than that, you can still contribute to a Roth IRA through a process known as a backdoor Roth IRA. Next up, let's consider two scenarios that our Fitbucks members have encountered. We have James, a 32-year-old member in the highest tax bracket, earning over $250,000 annually. Anticipating significant income post-retirement, he chooses a Roth IRA. However, he is over the income limit for making a direct contribution to a Roth IRA. Therefore, he takes advantage of doing a backdoor Roth IRA. Next, we have Sarah. She is a 25-year-old member of Fitbucks earning $70,000 per year. She expects her income to be moderate to low in retirement plus a tax break today helps her. Therefore, Sarah chooses a traditional IRA, which allows her to reduce her taxes today and pay minimal taxes in retirement because she anticipates having moderate to low income when she gets there. Keep in mind that personal finance is highly individualized and what works for one person may not work for another. That's where our expertise at Fitbucks comes in. We believe in streamlining personal finance with tools and advocacy to reduce the anxiety associated with it. And there you have it, a walkthrough of traditional and Roth IRA. Remember, we at FitBUX are here to guide you through the complexities of retirement planning. Together, we can plan for your future. Feel free to reach out to us at any time for further assistance.